The planned improvements begin at Kirkman Road, west of downtown Orlando near Universal Studios and the International Drive attractions. The Kirkman Interchange will be reconfigured to improve traffic operations and alleviate congestion at the interchange. The left exits off of I-4 will be replaced with more traditional exit ramps on the right side of the freeway. Extensive coordination with the City of Orlando resulted in the addition of the Grand National Drive extension over I-4 to provide a much-needed bypass for the heavy tourist traffic in the area. The new overpass will feature express lane direct access in the eastbound direction from Grand National Drive and westbound express lane access to Grand National Drive. Additional ramps will be constructed but not opened in anticipation of the future express lane extension west on I-4. The Turnpike Interchange will be improved with the addition of new lanes on the westbound off-ramp and eastbound on-ramp, which will reduce congestion during the peak hours of travel. A collector-distributor roadway will be built in the westbound direction along I-4 to improve operations caused by weaving traffic between Conroy Road and the Turnpike. The Florida Department of Transportation incorporated the I-4 Ultimate Master Plan in previously completed interchange work at Conroy Road, reducing traffic flow disruptions in this large retail area. FDOT will construct an additional auxiliary lane in the westbound direction from OBT to Conroy to accommodate the heavy traffic demand in this area. I-4 in the area of John Young Parkway was improved several years ago with provisions made for this ultimate project. Therefore, work disrupting traffic flow will be minimal. At the Orange Blossom Trail Interchange, westbound I-4 motorists will encounter a more traditional right-hand westbound exit ramp, replacing the existing left-hand exit ramp. As I-4 approaches downtown Orlando, operational improvements will be made to the Michigan and Cayley interchanges by braiding the on-ramps with the off-ramps. This will eliminate the problematic weaving section on I-4 while maintaining access between these two closely spaced interchanges. The I-4 State Road 408 interchange is one of Florida's most heavily traveled. Interim improvements completed in 2009 will be expanded upon by providing third and fourth level direct connect flyover ramps from westbound State Road 408 to westbound I-4 and from westbound I-4 to eastbound State Road 408. In addition, Direct Connect flyovers are being added to access State Road 408 in both directions from the I-4 express lanes. Significant work is also planned on State Road 408, including reconstructing the mainline bridges over I-4. Direct connections to and from the express lanes will be added at Anderson and South Streets to carry downtown traffic without adding congestion to the mainline general use lanes. The widening of I-4 through downtown Orlando will result in realignments to Garland and Huey Streets. FDOT plans to improve pedestrian access along Garland and under I-4 as part of the work.
The Colonial Drive interchange will be reconfigured to a single point urban interchange. This improves traffic flow and allows all left-hand traffic movements to be controlled by a single traffic signal. Direct Connect ramps from Ivanhoe Boulevard to the eastbound express lanes and from the westbound express lanes to Ivanhoe Boulevard will be provided. Looping exit ramps will be removed and an additional eastbound auxiliary lane will be added from Colonial Drive to Princeton Street. An additional eastbound auxiliary lane from Colonial Drive to Princeton Street, along with an additional right-hand turn lane from the eastbound Princeton Street exit ramp, will foster free-flowing traffic heading out of downtown Orlando. In addition, a second left turn lane from Princeton will be added to access westbound I-4 as a means to improve signal operations. Another additional eastbound auxiliary lane will extend from Princeton to Fairbanks to keep traffic moving. In the Winter Park area, improvements will be made to the vertical and horizontal alignment of I-4, enhancing safety of this segment originally built to 1960 standards. The vertical curvature in this area will be flattened to today's more stringent standards. The horizontal curvature will be improved, most notably through the Fairbanks curve. Expanded exit and entrance ramps, plus an additional left turn lane from Lee Road to eastbound I-4, will reduce backups in this area. A westbound auxiliary lane will be added along I-4 between Maitland Boulevard and Lee Road. The northernmost section of the I-4 Ultimate Project begins east of Kennedy Boulevard, near historic Eatonville, and ends east of State Road 434, for a total length of 6.4 miles. To improve operations, the busy I-4 interchange at Maitland Boulevard will be extensively reconfigured allowing for free-flowing traffic movements to and from I-4 without stopping at signals. Maitland Boulevard will be bridged over Lake Destiny Road, removing a signalized intersection from the corridor. Access will be maintained via dedicated ramps from I-4 westbound to Lake Destiny Road and from Lake Destiny Road to I-4 westbound. Improvements to the local road system will provide adequate connectivity in the area. Maitland Boulevard will also be bridged over Keller Road and Maitland Summit Boulevard with ramps down to the intersections below to access Keller and Maitland Summit. This improvement allows motorists traveling along Maitland Boulevard to not have to stop at these intersections for the signals. Finally, a pedestrian bridge is being added on the south side of the interchange to provide much needed connectivity across I-4. The Wymore Road overpass will be reconstructed to allow for the widened I-4 footprint to pass underneath. The I-4 and State Road 436 planned improvements call for a single-point urban interchange to help alleviate congestion, similar to those proposed at Keller Road and Colonial Drive. Work will include expansion of the off-ramps to include triple left lanes onto State Road 436. The Wymore Road median opening on State Road 436 will be closed and the signal removed due to the proximity of the I-4 interchange. All north-south access on Wymore across State Road 436 and left turns onto State Road 436 will be made on Westmont Drive. Improvements will be made to Westmont Drive to facilitate the additional traffic diverted from Wymore Road. A new pedestrian underpass crossing under State Road 436 in the north-south direction will accommodate crossings on State Road 436.
The Central Parkway overpass will be reconstructed and will feature new express lane direct access in the westbound direction from Central Parkway and in the eastbound direction to Central Parkway. The proposed improvements continue through the State Road 434 interchange. The addition of a westbound State Road 434 to westbound I-4 loop ramp, along with wider and longer ramps, will significantly improve operations on State Road 434 and prevent ramps from backing up onto the mainline I-4 as happens today. To improve weaving conditions between the westbound rest area and State Road 434, the rest area ramp will be relocated and changed to a loop ramp, allowing for a greater distance between on-ramp and off-ramp and improving flow on the main line. The I-4 Ultimate project improvements end east of State Road 434 and will be transitioned to match the existing lane configuration.